All right, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the, to the video. Uh, we're doing another one of these because you guys seem to really enjoy this new format. So uh, I wanna thank you all for leaving uh, all this positive feedback on, uh, on the last Wash & Talk video. So uh, today I wanna work on the inside of the car. So I'm gonna take you through all the steps I go through, uh, the products that I use, the tools that I use, and uh, you know, just give a little bit of uh, information about what I'm doing. So let's uh, hop inside the car and start working. So we always want to start off by vacuuming the interior and just like the exterior, it's best to uh, start at the top and work our way down to the bottom, right? So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be using one of these uh, soft bristle brushes. This one is from uh, Detail Factory. I also have brushes available from CarPro in my, uh, in my web shop. And as always, all the links will be in the description. So if you're ever looking for any other products, just check out the description. Uh, so what we want to do, uh, we want to get this brush, right? And then we want to get our vacuum hose and just basically brush all the dust and you know dirt that may be on on the surfaces here we want to brush that into the hose and this this is the best way to uh, get everything dust free and so what this allows us to do is uh, we can get all the uh, you know dust and dirt uh, from all these nooks and crannies these tight spaces because there's a lot going on here right so these these fans these buttons um, there's a lot of, you know, corners and edges that you can't really get to with a towel. So this really is uh, the best and safest way to get everything uh, dust free. All right, so next thing to do, uh, vacuum the floor mats and the carpets. I uh, Usually I just let the floor mats sit in the car and you know I just start with the floor mats, then take them out. So there is no more dirt falling from the floor mats onto the carpet. And uh, just like you guys can see, I just I never let this thing get uh, get really dirty. Um, but it's just uh, it's just a good thing to keep on top of it to keep it uh, keep it looking its its best. So yeah. All right, and then one last thing uh, before we put this vacuum aside, uh, we want to vacuum the uh, seams of the seat, right? Uh, you could use a, um, a brush attachment like this, or a, uh, actually a soft bristle brush attachment would be better. But I'm going to be using this, uh, this crevice tool. The only thing you want to make sure of is that it has no sharp edges on the end here because this could damage your leather seats, and you don't want that.
Okay, so these are the three uh, interior products that I have available in my web shop. This is uh, CarPro Insight, Coach Cami Polestar, and PNS Express Interior Cleaner. These are all three dedicated interior cleaners, so you can basically use use them for any kind of surface uh, except for the glass. Uh, we're going to be using a dedicated glass cleaner for uh, cleaning the windows and uh, you know windows and glass. Um, the one I'm going to be using today is I'm going to pick PNS Express. Um, and you know, I just, I just use whatever I feel like using since I have, uh, you know, all three available, but like I said, all three of them just do a great job. These are three of my favorite products and uh, that's the reason why I have these available in my web shop. So, oh, and these, uh, these funnels, these screw on funnels are also, uh, available in my web shop. PNS Express also smells really good, by the way. And then we're gonna need some microfiber towels and I'm also gonna be using this uh, brush. Uh, these are just all-purpose towels from Avalon King. Um, if your interior is looking a bit more dirty than mine is, I recommend using um, one of these scrub mitts. This one is from CarPro, this one is from the right company. Uh, these things are a little bit more, uh, I don't want to call it aggressive, but you know, since it's called a scrub mitt, it just, uh, it just does a better job at cleaning. But since my interior is not that dirty, I'm just going to be using this, uh, this brush to agitate the product and, you know, for panels or like, uh, for the dash, uh, it's more than enough to just spray some product on the towel and just, uh, wipe down the surface. So yeah, let's do it. Okay, and you know while we while we're working on the uh, on the interior here, I just just want to talk about uh, a few things. And uh, first thing is uh, emails. Emails, <laughs> because I've started to notice that some of you guys are um, actually getting getting mad because I can't reply in time. And I feel bad because I can because it's just gotten to a point where it's just it's just too much. Like I can't keep up with all the uh, you know all the the YouTube comments, the uh, the emails, phone calls, DMs, whatever. Um, and like I said, it's not because I uh, I'm ignoring you guys, but it's just it's just gotten to a point where I can't keep up, and I feel bad because I I'm not able to provide the same kind of service that I uh, that I used to um, so that kind of sucks um, and like you know I uh, like I understand it obviously uh, but it just it's just gotten to a point where um, keeping up with all this has become a, uh, or has become more than a full-time job. And, um, I'm just at this, I'm at this point where I don't really know what to do, like what is best because, uh, obviously I want to, you know, keep getting back to you guys and, and answer you guys' questions. Um, but you may or may not know that I'm doing all this by myself and it's just, like I said, it's just gotten to a point where, um, this has become a full-time job and like I, I just <laughs> I just can't do it I just can't do it by myself like I'm really really doing my best to answer as many um, as many emails and, and comments as possible but like I said it's just gotten to a point where I, I just can't keep up anymore and um, if you haven't heard back from me then you know I'm like I'm sorry. Uh, just know that I really appreciate it that you're um, that you're watching these videos and sending me uh, sending me your questions and and, and messages and and everything. Um,
Just a quick tip, if you have um, compressed air available, it's a, uh, it's a great tool to get all the product out of these, uh, you know, these, these tight areas right here. So that's a problem. Like I'm literally over, over a hundred, like easily over a hundred emails behind. And uh, like I'm talking actual emails, like requests, not just like, um, you know, just spam or, or whatever. But uh, yeah. <laughs> what else, what else do we have? Um, oh, I, uh, like I recently did a um, a collaboration with a uh, a friend of mine, so we made a uh, kind of like more a more of a uh, cinematic kind of video. Um, I'll, I'll actually put some uh, I'll put a preview on the screen right now. So if you enjoy what you're seeing, just uh, give the man a uh, a thumbs up. Check out the video. Subscribe to his channel. I know that he would uh, he would massively appreciate it. Like I don't know what kind of like what kind of impact I could have um, with uh, with my channel. I know the guys at like a 300, I think 300 subscribers right now. Like if we could get this, if we could get this to 1K, that would be amazing. I don't know if if we can, but uh, you know, let's try it. So the same thing, um, same thing applies for for the steering wheel. Just using the same product, the same brush. I'm gonna be doing the same thing for uh, for the seats as well. Just uh, you know, lightly agitating the product with uh, with the brush. And that's gonna be more than uh, more than enough to get this thing. Looking, looking good again. Wasn't looking bad, but you know. <laughs> and uh, you know, same thing, same thing for the seats. Uh, you can, you know, you can spray the product on uh, on the seats themselves, or you can spray into the brush like I've been doing the entire time. But uh, usually for the seats, I just you know spray some product on there and uh, start working it in. So obviously this is not going to be, uh, you know, like a, uh, a big transformation. Um, on this seat, you can see that it's just a little bit shiny. It's a little bit dirty just from, you know, getting in the car. 
um, but it's really not that bad. Like I said, I just, I don't let this thing get dirty. So uh, it's just a good thing to uh, do this every once in a while to keep it, you know, keep it looking nice. So this is really all it takes. Um, if you do this every once in a while, you don't have to, uh, you don't have to use anything more aggressive um, all the other tools and, you know, stronger products or whatever, they're only required if you, uh, if you have to do it like a real, real deep clean. And you know, as soon as I, uh, as soon as I have a car that requires a uh, like an actual deep clean, we're we're obviously going to do that as well. And I'll do it in this format. So I'll show you guys all the products, the tools, the tips, tricks, techniques, everything that um, that you need to know to uh, get an actual dirty car clean again. So. I'll make sure to uh, to make a very informative video about that in uh, in the future. Let's put that there. Um, for the windows, we're going to be using uh, Coach Cami Speed Gloss Cleaner. We also have CarPro Clarify available in the web shop. Uh, I'm going to be using this one today. Uh, both of these leave a, uh, a streak-free finish. Um, and for microfibers, I'm gonna be using these waffle weave towels by the Rag Company. They're called Dry Me A River. Uh, these work way better than just regular microfibers. Uh, just because of the, you know, the, the waffle weave, it just, it just works way better. It leaves a streak-free finish. It doesn't leave any lint or anything, so it just works great. So I'm just uh, spraying it directly on the towel. Uh, you could spray it on the glass. Um, but there's a chance you, you'll get some, uh, some overspray on, on the door panel, which is not, you know, it's not a big deal. But uh, yeah, most of the time I just, I just spray it on the towel, so. Then I take my second towel and just wipe down any, uh, any remaining product. And just like that. Okay, so for the, uh, for the windscreen, I use this uh, Invisible Gloss um, Reach and Clean tool. It's, I know it's a little bit of a uh, funky looking tool, but uh, it just works really well for uh, cleaning the windscreen. So uh, just gonna spray a little bit of, uh, of my gloss cleaner on here and I'm just gonna go in, you know, in straight lines, top to bottom, make sure I get all the corners, all the edges, like right here, because they're with just a towel, they're kind of hard to uh, hard to reach. So just do it like that. And then what I do, I just uh, take my my second towel, my clean towel, and I uh, wrap it around here. And I'm just gonna go over it once again to uh, make sure I get a, uh, a streak-free finish. Just like that. And while we're at it, let's wipe this thing down as well. There we go. And what I'm uh, what I'm planning on doing is actually wanna you know just redo the entire car. It's been about two years since uh, since I've polished and uh, coated the uh the paint so i'm planning on doing that again making uh like a, a complete detail series about it um starting with you know a decom wash polishing and then finally the 
the ceramic coating. I'm going to try and do it in this same format, try and give you guys as much information as possible. Um, and if there is anything else you guys would like to see, like um, something uh, specific, I don't know, could just be something like wheel cleaning or um, I don't know, whatever it may be, something like a specific job or something, um, let me know, drop a comment and um, I'll make sure to, uh, to make a video about it. Um, I've seen some of you guys ask for um, a video of how I, uh, how I clean my brushes, my tools. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to be making like a full video about that. Uh, I'm not sure how I'm going to make like a 10 minute video just about cleaning my brushes. Um, but um, I'm probably just going to include this in like a, uh, in the future video or something. So uh, I'll, uh, I'll definitely do that. Uh, but if there's anything else you guys would like to see, just let me know, drop a comment and uh, I'll make it happen. Okay guys, so that's going to be about it for this interior detail. Um, I'm going to wrap the video up here. If you guys have any idea of uh, what I should do next, leave a comment down below and I'll definitely check it out. And uh, I also want to mention that we have these air fresheners available in the web shop as well as these shirts. So if you're interested in one of these, go check out the web shop. Thank you for watching.